Um, and now what I'd like to do is one of the weirdest and most interesting and powerful exercises that I've ever learned. This is an exercise that comes from neurolinguistic programming and it's called parts integration. The idea here is that each of us does not have one personality. We have many personalities. It just seems like we have one personality because the personality that's kind of in charge is always the one that's conscious and it just kind of seems like a seamless process. There's a great diagram I saw that was created by a guy named Peter Uspensky and he drew this circle and inside of it he put the letter I but he put it like 30 or 40 times so there were a bunch of I's inside that circle and that was kind of his, uh, his metaphor for our real personalities that were actually a whole bunch of different I's. It's like think about a, a giant cruise ship Okay, there's not just one person that's operating the cruise ship. There are a bunch of different people. There are some people that are working in the engine room, turning the engines up and down and making sure they work. There's uh, you know, one person steering the actual ship. There's another one monitoring the sonar. There really are a lot of different parts that are kind of running or are the captain, so to speak, of that ship. And when the, the main captain goes to sleep, someone else takes over. And uh, you know, to the the awareness of most of the people that are on the ship, they don't realize who's in charge or whatever. Who you know, what's happening? Well, that's actually the same way with us. We don't really notice consciously when a different part of us takes over. And what you'll notice is that you know there are parts of you that are lazy, and when the lazy part is in control, you just want to like lay down and not do anything. And there are parts of you that are motivated, and when a motivated part of you shows up, it wants to get things done and it wants to kick butt. And there are parts of you that are loving and affectionate, and when the loving and affectionate part of you is around, you just want to hug and cuddle and be close to people. And there, there are parts of you that are independent and want to be off by yourself. And when that part's around, you just want to be completely alone. These are really different parts, different personalities within your one personality. And we kind of shift back and forth between them. Well, what I've discovered is that most of us have two parts to our personality that uh, are very prevalent. And these two parts are the one that wants to do things the way we've always done them, to play it safe, to uh, you know, stay in our comfort zone and not change. And the other one is the one that wants to take risks, that wants to try something different, that wants to change everything, that wants to throw away the old and get rid of it just for the sake of getting rid of, rid of it just to try something new. And when these two parts of us conflict, we really get way out of alignment. So we're going to do a parts alignment exercise, a parts integration exercise with these two parts. And then what I'd like you to do is notice whenever you have inner conflict and use this parts integration exercise to align whatever those conflicting parts are. So here's how it works. Go ahead and close your eyes. What I'd like you to do is hold out your hands in front of you. If you're standing, you can just kind of hold your hands out like this. If you're sitting, get into a comfortable position. You might even put your two hands on your knees or on your legs like this. In your left hand, what I'd like you to imagine is that part of you that likes to play it safe, that likes to do things the way you've always done them, to stay in your comfort zone, to stick with what has habitually worked in the past. And you might even look down at that hand with your eyes closed. I know this is a little weird. Keep your eyes closed, but look down at that hand. And looking through your eyelids, try to imagine the color and the shape and the movement of that part of you. What color is it? What shape? What's the texture? And you'll notice that a shape will usually appear. Or it might be a feeling or a temperature if you can't see a particular shape. Something will appear there that will represent that part of your personality. Good. Now what I'd like you to do is in your other hand, in your right hand, I'd like you to imagine that part of your personality that likes to do new things, that likes to innovate and create and throw out the old and to go on an adventure, to take a risk, to create something completely new, to do something that's totally uncomfortable for the thrill and the excitement of doing it. And notice as you look down at that part through your closed eyelids, notice what color, what shape, what texture, how it's moving. 
You might notice a temperature or a feeling that that part of you has as well. Good. And now what I'd like you to do is take these two parts of you that are in your two hands and bring them up close together to each other. You're going to be moving the, your hands closer and closer together, right in front of you, until you merge those two parts into one in your hands. See them merging together. And then what I'd like you to do is draw that new integrated combination of parts right up to your chest and then push it directly into your chest and feel it moving inside of you and spreading through your chest, through your stomach, through your shoulders, down into your legs and feet, out into your arms and hands and up into your head. And notice those two parts of you integrating with each other. And as you do this, you might feel a little weird. That's very normal. What you're going to notice is that these two parts both have very positive intentions. They both intend positive things. They're both trying to keep you safe. They're both trying to keep you growing. And now that you've integrated the two of them and you can see that their intentions are both good, you might begin to realize that they can help each other. That the part of you that likes to play it safe can help the part of you that wants to do new, creative, adventurous things because it can do it with a little bit more of a tempered approach. And you also might notice that the part of you that wants to play it safe and keep doing things the way you've always done them and not risk can actually be served and helped by the part of you that wants to change and wants to create and wants to throw out the old. These two parts of you can work together and they can make a great team as long as you integrate and align them and honor and respect their intentions.